Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you some of the new options that we have in our tool table, starting with the tool table's new look. If we were to look at the new tool table right now, we'll see that we've introduced a new look to our tool table. One, we've added icons now instead of those buttons with all the names on it, making it for a lot neater looking tool table. We've also changed the look of this area. We have the list as we've seen before and we have now the list showing it together with the edit table. Now let's start from the top left corner and over here we have the option of showing all of the tools as shown over here. In our next button we have tool used in operations where we see only the tools that were used in the operations themselves. Our next button shows us all of the unused tools. So if we have tools that are unused, we'll see them here as well. And we also have one more option. We're showing us any tools that we have that are being used, but at this moment, they are in operations that are in suppressed mode as shown over here. And again, well, over here we have our entire tool table. This button will show us tools with their turrets and in our next button shows us only the milling tools whereas this button shows us only the turning tools. Now this button lets us see the milling first or the turning first. If I were to click on milling first it will show me all of the milling tools first and then the turning tool. The other way I will have the turning tool first and then the milling tools. This is a search button to search specific tools. And now we can go over to this side. As I've shown you before, we can have our list or our list and our edit table together. In our next button, we have our visual tool check. This was moved from our SolidCam settings over to here, which is exactly where we need it. So now we can have our visual tool check when working in SolidCam so we can see our tool as we're creating them in the SolidWorks mode. Down at the bottom, we have our add milling tool over here or add turning tool. We have our copy option and of course our delete option. Next, we have our renumbering option as shown over here. And then we have our import and export tools as we've had before. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.